Let us see the question. Following information and the ratios are given for W limited for the year ended 31st of March 2020. Equity share capital 10 lakhs. Reserves and surplus to shareholders funds is 0 0.50. Sales to shareholders fund is 1.50. Current ratio 2.5, debtors turnover ratio is 6, stock velocity is 2 months. It means that say uh, basically it is finished goods holding period. GP ratio is 20 percentage, net working capital turnover ratio mm. is 2.5. That is uh, basically the sales upon working capital. You are required to calculate. These are a few questions that they have provided. I request all of you to go through the question, please. Dear students, over here, the question is providing the information that equity share capital is rupees 10 lakhs. And information is given that the reserves and surplus to the shareholders fund says 0.50. So we can say something like this. Everybody is requested to pay attention. Reserves and surplus, equity share capital, and shareholders funds. It has been provided that so the reserves and surplus to the shareholders funds is 0.50. So this is 0 0.5 for every 1 rupee of the shareholders funds. So this is balancing figure 0 0.5. Equity share capital is provided as 10 lakhs. So of course 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is same. So this is again 10 lakhs. So this is 20 lakhs. So we can have working note number 1. Calculation of reserves and surplus and shareholders funds. It would be an amount of 20 lakhs. Then the second thing is that provided sales to shareholders funds 1.5. So once you have the shareholders funds, so working note number 2. Calculation of sales. So it is sales upon shareholders funds. It is provided to us as 1.50. So sales will be equal to 1.5 into shareholders funds. So 1.5 into shareholders funds is 20 lakhs. That comes to rupees 30 lakhs. This is the second working note. The question is providing the information about the current ratio, data turnover ratio. So, with that, we can compute the sales. Sorry, data. Calculation of data. Data turnover ratio is six times. Data turnover ratio <coughs> is calculated as sales upon data. So, as far as the data is concerned, it is sales upon data turnover ratio. Amount of the sales is 30 lakhs divided by 6. That comes to an amount of 5 lakhs. That is the way the data is calculated. Stock velocity is given 2 months and GP ratio is given 20%. So 
सो वर्किंग नोट नंबर फोर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट इट इज सेल्स इंटू जीपी रेशियो सेल्स इज थर्टी लैक्स एंड जीपी रेशियो इज ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज That comes to rupees six lakhs. Next is calculation of the stock because the stock velocity is given to us. So working note number five. Calculation of stock. In that we will have finished goods holding period. That is twelve months divided by COGS <clears throat> into stock. So as far as stock is concerned, it is COGS divided by twelve months into finished goods holding period. COGS is an amount of thirty minus six, twenty-four lakhs. Divided by twelve, finished goods holding period is two months. So it is thirty minus six, twenty-four. Divided by twelve is two into two. That comes to four lakhs. That is how the stock is calculated. Then we have been provided with the information about the net working capital turnover ratio two point five. So we can compute the net working capital. Calculation of net working capital. So net working capital ratio is equal to sales. Upon net working capital. So net working capital is equal to sales upon net working capital ratio. What is the sales amount? Sales amount is thirty lakhs divided by net working capital ratio is two point five. So thirty divided by two point five, it is rupees twelve lakhs. That is what we understand. Let us see one by one answers. Shareholders funds. That is the first question. That is an amount of twenty lakhs. That is equity plus reserves and surplus. Stock. Stock amount has been calculated by us. It is an amount of four lakhs. Then the datas, amount of the datas is rupees five lakhs. The next is the current liability and cash balance. That is what we are required to compute over here. Now to calculate the same. We can use the current ratio information. So we understand something like this. As far as the current ratio is concerned, it is calculated as current assets upon current liabilities. Current assets is current ratio into current liability. Current ratio is provided two point five. So current assets is equal to two point five into current liabilities. That is what we understand. Net working capital is current assets minus current liabilities. It is an amount of twelve lakhs. Two point five current liability minus current liability. So it is one point five current liability. 
can understand that say the current liability is equal to 12 lakhs divided by 1.5. That is 8 lakhs. This is the way the current liability is calculated. Once you compute current liability, calculation of the current assets is very simple. Rather, we can say that so the calculation of cash and buying we can do directly. Because that is what the question is, question number 5. Current ratio is equal to current assets upon current liabilities. Current ratio is 2.5 No, current ratio is, yes, 2.5 is equal to current assets, that is stock plus debtors plus cash and money divided by current liabilities, that is an amount of 8 lakhs. So it is 2.50 into 8 lakhs is equal to stock. What is the amount of the stock? 4. Datas is 5. This is 4 lakhs plus 5 lakhs plus cash and money. So what will happen? It is 2.5 into 8 that is 20 lakhs minus 4 lakhs minus 5 lakhs is equal to cash and bank so cash and bank will be an amount of 11 lakhs this is the way the cash and bank can be found so here current liability is 8 lakhs and this is an amount of 11 lakhs Friends, uh, I just have a revision of the working. Always remember that so we have to start with an amount which is given to us in the question. Reserves and surplus is given 10 lakhs and the reserves and surplus to shareholders funds is given 0.5. So we have computed the equity share capital. Using the shareholders funds and say so the shareholders that is sales to shareholders funds ratio, we have computed the sales. Sales is an amount of 30 lakhs. Then we have been provided with the data turnover ratio, with that so the data can be calculated. Then GP ratio is given, GP can be calculated. Using the like stock velocity, that is finished goods holding period, which is given two months, and COGS, we can compute the stock. Using the net working capital ratio, we have computed the net working capital, or simple term, it is working capital. Next is, say using the current ratio, we make the calculation of the current liability. So it is working note number 7. Calculation of current liability. Working note number 8, cash and bank. For that the current ratio values are used. It is current assets upon current liabilities. So stock plus data plus cash and bank upon 8 lakhs. So we find the cash and bank, it is an amount of 11 lakhs.